Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be showing you how to build this little ethylene gas burning generator to produce some RF, and also if you just want the ethylene itself, you don't have to burn it off. But anyways, let's go over here real quick. We're going to place down our uh, water pump first. Face this way, make sure the, the power input is uh, right here. From here, we're going to grab our universal cables, run those all the way over to right here. On top of those, we're going to place down our, uh, not pressurized, we need our electrolytic separators. So those are going to start getting powered up by our solar panel. Don't worry about the solar panel not powering these completely right away. Uh, it's going to be a thing later once we get the gas burner running. So next we're going to fill these in with the infinite water source so our little pump here can uh, do its thing. We're going to take our mechanical pipes, run these right into the back of your electrolytic separators. Now this should, right off the bat, uh, drain your energy bar. Don't worry. I promise it'll be okay. We're going to set this to dump. So we don't need the oxygen. If you do just take it onto a pipe and take it somewhere else, but we don't need it in this case. And, uh, we just want the hydrogen to start being produced in both of these. So we're going to, uh, put dumping on oxygen for both of these. Next, we want to come out front and we need our, uh, gas moving, which is the pressurized tubes. So we're going to put these like so and then leave them as is. Now you notice they didn't connect, so we're gonna look inside these electrolytic separators. We're gonna to go to side config, gases, click the front one right here, it to blue, and that'll connect it right up. And then same thing uh, with the second one. We want it to be gas and we want it to be blue. Now they're gonna output into here. After that, we wanna place down our pressurized gas chamber, and that's going to start pumping the hydrogen from the other machines into here. Now to produce, uh, ethylene we do need water so look at that conveniently we have our water right here we're just going to bring it straight back into the back of the machine and we also need power so uh, to create our ethylene we're just going to oh conveniently grab our power from down below now this will start producing ethylene once we get our final ingredient let's grab our hopper here now the way you get this uh person uh, what was i saying the way you get this is just make biofuel and you put the biofuel inside the hopper or you can use a an item pipe whatever you like but whatever you do uh you're going to need a crusher on top of here and you're going to need to feed it with any kind of farming type uh thing like carrots or potatoes to make the biofuel if you are working with immersive engineering you could set up a little farm up here that could be powered by the uh the uh, solar panel you don't have to keep the solar panel either if you want to remove that you can do so but i'm going to grab a chest and a little pipe there next we want to uh, place down a chest here and then a pipe and then we need our configurator we're just going to configure this to output the substrate so a byproduct of creating ethylene is uh, the little bit of substrate and let's get some more biofuel up in there All right so now that it's producing its ethylene, it's just going to sit in its tank, and we're going to do the same thing we did before. So uh, we're going to go over to our gases, and we're going to output blue to out the front. Next, we want a gas burning generator. i got to grab that. And we're going to place this down in a way that it connects with the energy. Now, I think we're going to... Where's our gas one? Did we... We deleted it. Okay, it's right here. I like to send it out of the front, but you can technically just put the machine next to it. But I like to micromanage it and be able to shut stuff off with redstone and that. So we're going to place our gas generator right there. Now, uh, once we're outputting the ethylene out of the front here, like that, it should start powering this up. Oh, look at that. That's probably because I copied that one. It had ethylene built up in it already. And the ethylene emptied out of this tank, and now... Uh, when I said we don't have to worry about the solar panel powering these things, that's just to jumpstart the system. You can get rid of it at this point if you're not drawing off too much power off the uh, bottom here. From this point, uh, you can do a few upgrades here, but one of them I like to do is I like to put a tank here. And so you have a backlog of water. I also, the reason for this tank right here is because if uh, I'm not interested in using the power, I actually need the ethylene, then I'll put a gas tank here also so some of it's going to go down in here if you need that or you can flip a redstone switch and it'll all go into a tank which you can use ethylene for whatever you need later on 
And uh, don't forget your substrate. This chest might eventually fill up, so you can either send it down into lava if you don't need it, and or you could uh, use the substrate, which is needed for some some things for the reactors later on. But that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. I kind of like, I guess I should look around so you can kind of see everything. I thought it went over it pretty well, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. If you found it helpful, uh, like, comment, subscribe.